Hey everybody, welcome back to New Egg TV. I'm Steve. Joining me today is Kyle. How you doing, sir? I'm awesome, Steve. I can't wait to take these guys out of the box. We're gonna play with them. We're gonna have some fun right now. Well, you know, these, are, be these good. are World Tech Toys helicopters, and we just need to go over a few of the features first, Kyle, and then we'll totally do that. We'll totally do that. Let's get started. All right, so World Tech Toys made these helicopters for you guys, and they're, uh, they're quote, unbreakable. So I'm not really sure how unbreakable they really are. They're for ages eight and up, so if you are parents and you're looking for a little something for your kids for Christmas, this might be the thing for you. Um, I'm going to actually start on the Fly X Heli. I'm going to flip this around real quick. We also have the Nano Hercules and the Hercules, which is sort of the biggest one here. So as you can see, you have coaxial rotor, uh, connecting shaft there. You got a rotor. You got durable plastic body and LED lights, a metal frame. Uh, then on top of that, you know, it's a 3.5 channel gyro metal infrared helicopter, so it doesn't actually use radio. Uh, also, USB charger to power it up. You guys can see down here at the bottom, this is actually all the whoop, little reflection there. Little on-off buttons and uh, instruction manual and then, uh, it, Kyle. All right, so let me, let's, that's, that's enough about the flag heli. Let me look at the, the Nano Hercules real quick. As you see on the back here, uh, it's a very similar design. We also have a coaxial rotor and uh, what else do we have? The throttle as well as some turn buttons left and right. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. You could even you could even step on it and it won't crash. Got to build. Build. What is going on over there? <laughs> All right, Kyle. You know what? Let's just go take these outside and play with them. Sure. Let me uh, take it out of the box. I should show you first the controls, which I kind of already mentioned before. This is the throttle. Uh, the left and the right. This is actually for the Hercules, which is the big one, which, which you've, uh, you've actually been watching me play with. On and off switch here, everything else is sort of fake switches, except for this. This is the trim, gets it to stop spinning or start spinning, just kind of lines everything up so that the helicopter will stop spinning on its own, uh, its own axes, I guess I would say. Uh, then it's got kind of a counterweight here, uh, breakaway um, uh, rotors, and they both spin opposite directions to kind of keep it uh, orient the orientation of the chopper in one direction. It's got a rear rotor here that's not uh, in the same orientation as a standard helicopter because it uses these to spin itself in, in opposite directions to keep that uh, stabilized without spinning. Otherwise it would be the other direction. Anyways, this helps it to tilt forward to go forward and backwards. Of course you guys can see lots of LED lights on it. Uh, I also have the the studio lights off so you can kind of see this a little bit better. Okay, so it's, uh, it's on and I've stopped using it for a moment to show you guys a couple of the, the uh, spiner points of this particular helicopter. This is the Hercules, this is the biggest one in the set. Uh, they do provide with you a couple things. One is a Phillips head screwdriver, also one small replacement uh, rotor for the tail, and then two replacement rotors for the, the main rotor assembly here. Uh, obviously there's four so you only get two of them. Uh, also, it's also a slightly smaller Phillips head than they actually provide. Will that actually work? Um, it looks like it's intended to, but it doesn't quite fit. So you still probably need a smaller Phillips head in order to remove these. Uh, aside from that, uh, the on-off switch is here. Right next to it has the charging port. You'll be able to charge this with. It takes about 60 minutes to an hour and a half to charge it. Uh, and I believe the flight time is something like 15 minutes, I want to say. Uh, I'll double check that in a moment. Also, you have two uh, or four total rubberized uh, uh, feet that go, go onto the rails here and what looks like the antenna line here that's kind of on the outside wrapped around because this one, unlike the other two, actually use uh, a radio frequency in order to transmit. And this particular one is 49 megahertz. <laughs> okay, so I did just double check and it looks like it's about eight minutes flight time for the Hercules. Uh, now, this is the Hercules Nano, which you saw uh, Kyle, myself, and probably Mr. Lamb flying earlier. I think Tina even got a chance to jump in there. But the, uh, the charging time of this particular one is about 15 to 30 minutes, which is uh, a lot faster. You have to use this small uh, USB uh, cable in order to charge it. It actually plugs in right at the the bottom here in a very small port. Uh, there's also a very small on-off button here you can you can switch. This model, instead of using uh, any kind of radio frequency, it actually uses infrared to transmit. I'm not sure of the flight time because it isn't listed, but uh, you'll get a full charge between 15 and 30 minutes after plugging it in. 
You'll need uh, batteries for all the remote controls except for the iFly uh, because it uses your phone. So uh, Android uh, application is also there to use it as well as an iPhone one, but I'll get there in just a moment. Uh, here's where you'd actually set the trim on the chopper and that also allows it to you know, stop it from spinning one direction or another, keeping it in one direction, or keeping it from spinning on its, on its axis there. Uh, then you can set it to three different bands, on off switch here, throttle here, uh, uh, spinning it left or right, or excuse me, left or right, or, or tilting it forward to get it to go forward. There's also a turbo button and a light button. And all that uses these infrared uh, uh, emitters, which will be received by this small little guy here. It looks like probably on the bottom, looks like where it's receiving it. Uh, and then, you know, you can go ahead and crash it into a bunch of stuff because it's supposed to be indestructible. Now here's the iFly X. Uh, it, it is the smallest of the bunch. Over here we have the on-off switch uh, right on this side. Uh, like stainless steel construction. Uh, if I flip to the bottom, here's a little infrared uh, receiver on this end. Uh, this also is how you would get it connected to your phone. It actually plugs in via the 3.5 millimeter plug and then it just automatically boosts your volume all the way to the top. If you've ever used any one of these devices that use the volume plug, you're always going to have to remember uh, that uh, you gotta turn the volume all the way up. In this case, the app actually did it for me. Let me go ahead and, and log in and show you what this app looks like. There you go. Uh, so you've got your throttle here as well as the on-off switch, uh, the light switch. You've got high speed or low speed uh, to change the rotor speed. And uh, here's your trim here. You'd be able to set it one direction or, uh, or the other. Also, you can hit this button, and it actually allows you to tilt your phone uh, to use the, the accelerometer inside of it to allow it to adjust uh, the direction to which it's tilting. Also, nice uh, help button here. Uh, showing you exactly how to go through the list and exactly what needs to be done. Also, all the different buttons and what they do in case you ever need help. Here's how you would use it if you were setting it up to uh, use the motion control of your phone in order to use it. So let me try and play with this and, and see how, how many times I crash it. Okay, just in case I didn't mention it already, we have another set of rotor assembly replacement parts that uh, the Nano Hercules actually has as well. So that basically means the whole set has replacement rotors. Uh, so two main and one secondary. Now that being said, that pretty much wraps up this overview of the World Tech Toys uh, helicopter line for the Hercules set. If you guys liked what you saw today, don't forget to click the like button. If you haven't already done so, click subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.